gentleness? Would people say I'm assertive or gentle? This is a virtue in our culture. This is a weakness. But Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty nine, 29, I'm gentle. So do you want to be assertive or Christ-like? That's the choice. That any assertive part of my life is not surrendered to the Lord. Do I fight for my ideas, my plans, my agenda, my preferences, or am I willing to let others express their ways? What shape is my personal agenda and my ambition? Are they intact? Are my rights being defended? Is my personal self-driven agenda in hopeless shape? Is it crucified? And finally, self-control. Whoop, self-control. That's actually, self-control is, is the virtue of having all of my life not dominated by an external influence. They used to use it for athletes in the, in the Olympics. Is my life dominated by the Spirit of God? Do I have a disciplined life or an undisciplined life? Would others think of me as graciously under the control of God's Spirit? Am I beating my flesh down? Does it seem like God's taken over more and more of my life and my attention and my schedule? That's only possible by the Spirit's Words. power. So I want you to think about something. Think about the life that God bought with his own blood through the cross of Christ. And as you're singing all to Jesus, I surrender, say, Lord, have I surrendered to you my schedule? Have I surrendered to you my entertainment? Have I surrendered to you my public life, uh, my driving? How about my business career? You know, how about my appetites? How about my finances? How about my spiritual disciplines? I mean, I want to surrender all that to you, and I want you to be growing in your control. I want your spirit to fill every part of my life so I can do unbelievable, incredible things and you get all the credit. Wow. What, what is our response we're supposed to do? We're supposed to surrender all of our life to Jesus.